The other was dark and dingy. <clears throat> and I asked, I asked the guy I was with, I said, what, what's this happened here? And he said, we went from one quarter to the other. And I realized that the people aren't any different. It's the leadership that is different. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the, in many cases, I mean, there are bad things that Israel has done, bad things the Palestinians have done, and good things on both sides. But the leadership is using the Palestinian people and their plight yeah. uh -huh. to gain power. And it's the same thing that happens uh -huh. here. In our case, it's a lot worse. I'm sorry, I don't mean it. Oh, go ahead. They are taking the suffering that black people went through and replaying it and pitting us against each other with archaic stereotypes like the light skin, the dark skin, yeah. hoping that it will keep us from place. realizing our destiny for greatness. I said if we're going to really have that dream of Martin Luther King come full circle, we've got to start having a higher opinion of where we've come from as slaves and see it as a position of strength and, and triumph instead of just the suffering and the woeful part of it and be proud of that legacy and start when someone brings it up don't let the hurt come out be proud let it inspire and motivate us and realize that God wouldn't have created us in this skin just to see us suffer and fail well also I'm tell you guys now it's it's always been about us versus them and with, within for black people we've been taught at least I was as a kid that there are good white people and bad white people and the good white people, for the most part, are Democrats, and the bad white people are Republicans. And we know mm -hmm. if a Republican said exactly the same words that, that Reed said, it would be big time news because that was one of the bad white people. But that's yeah, why I mean, we so have to stop you. politicizing the values yeah. so, and make it about conservative values, not yeah. not the D and the R, and just you know, who, who about right, right exactly. and wrong. And it's, also, I, I, it's also about how we view the parties and how we teach our children about the parties. Speaking as a young person, when I meet people. The first thing I think of is not their color, it's how do they greet me. I don't see people's color when I first meet them. I see how are they greeting me? Right. How are they treating me? This is something that I've benefited from having been born, you know, 20 years after Martin Luther let King me, gave this. Let me ask you. Um, we received a lot of calls from people when I talked about Harry Reid earlier this week on the radio. <clears throat> and um, I said, let it go. The guy's an idiot. I mean, how much more do you need? I mean, have you seen his policies? Yeah. He's, he's not a, a guy who is in line and in step with the American people. This is just yet another sign of that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he's been exposed. He's been exposed as just a, an idiot and an elitist, et cetera, et cetera. And I got a lot of heat from conservatives who said, we can't let it go. Yeah, I, think, I think conservatives are, are making a big mistake yeah. with all too. the things out there yeah. to get myopic on this. I mean, there are some multi-trillion dollar exactly. things out there mm -hmm. that don't let this trip you up right now <laughs> because right. you'll be looking at all the wrong right, thing. In the, in the uh, second row there, yes. Uh, we have, as a nation, we're not a racist nation. We have uh, racist behaviors, but, the, we, but we learn those behaviors. But that doesn't make us a racist nation. As to uh, Harry Reid and his comment, uh, I think we're missing the larger point there. If, uh, uh, if President Obama cannot be offended by this, I don't know who can. He should be, because what he suggested, what Harry Reid suggested, that, number one, had the president not been light-skinned, <laughs> Uh, his chances of becoming president would have been uh, less. And what the president suggested also, I mean, what Harry Reid suggested also, is that the president has this ability to be fake. In other words, okay. uh, he can turn on a dialect mm -hmm. when he wants to and turn it off when he wants to, depending on who his audience is. He's mm -hmm. acting. That's what Harry Reid suggested. So if the president can't see that, it's no wonder that he can't see the threat of terrorism. Maybe he sees it, but he agrees. <laughs> yeah. And that's, yeah. the most, that's dangerous. Yeah. The point is, you can't, you can't, hold on one second. The point is, you cannot let this go. Because what the Democrats have done, this is confronting its smash mouth in the black community by saying, this is how they feel. This is what they say behind our backs. This, these are the thought processes that go on. You absolutely have to drive this point home because this is what the blacks who have voted 95 percent for Democrats need to see. And if you let it go, you are, it's like saying, let's let slavery go. Let's let the yeah. civil rights movement go. Wait, wait, wait. 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 I'm, saying, I'm not saying that you let it go. I'm saying you burn it in and you know exactly who these people are. 
Um, but then you don't need to drive somebody yeah. out of office. No, yeah, you, you, know, like you don't need to drive them out of, of office. Destruction. Let them destroy themselves. I agree. And he, he already has. I agree with that. But you, you have to keep this point going, going forward. And then let I, think, it go. I think we're making a big deal out of this because at the end of the day, Joe Biden, who is his vice president, said something extremely similar. His young, black, articulate, I see black clean, people are all clean, stingy. Clean. Oh, clean, whatever. I see people are living in gutters and well, wash yourself in shock. So Obama, Obama doesn't care. I mean, you can. As long as he has the power he wants, I don't think he really cares what anyone calls yeah. him. So now, let me ask you this. Let me let me ask you this question. And they're all a fan why of is it? Why does that not register with the African American community? Why, when you bring on a guy who says he's a clean artic, that is the most uh, 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 offensive thing I think I've heard. He's uh -huh. a clean, articulate guy, and then he excuses um, uh, uh, Harry Reid. And he doesn't hold the same standard. Why does that not register? Yes. I was going to... I was going to say it's because there are certain people in the black leadership who have sold out their solidarity to black people, and instead they're now the working towards they're a working towards the white liberal agenda. So they will come out and make all the excuses and all the apologies, and that sort of smooths over the uh, the uh, the anger you would feel from a Harry Reid statement. And it's just know. like the Congressional Black Caucus as soon as. Harry Reid said the statement. They were out there saying, oh, yes, we support Harry. Look at his history, blah, 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 blah. So then that smooths over the anger for everybody else. But, I mean, you know, it's not only that. It's also the fact that, you know, a lot of people, and not just black people, but a lot of people in America aren't really paying attention. To most people, politics is exhausting, and it takes a lot of time to really understand it. Anybody who's in this room has taken a lot of time to really understand what's going on. And most people don't want to bother. So when someone says something like that, it usually just flies by people's ears. They don't really pay attention to the real meaning behind it. We can't, we can't, we can't be a successful country right. unless we really start to pay attention. We have, yeah. we've, all taken, we've all taken this for granted. I want to switch gears here for a second because I want to, again, it is, um, it is about using, yes. using communities. Um, we're we're now entering a time, and this is just a prediction of mine, and I hope I'm wrong, but I doubt I am. The main topic that is going to be happening, or they're going to try to make it um, the main topic for the next election, will be illegal immigration. Mm -hmm. There is no one that is more pro-immigrant than I am. Immigrants renew us yeah. because of the very thing I just said. We forget who we are. We forget what we have. I want the immigrant who is opening up a business and, mm -hmm. and is next to me and saying, you guys realize what you have? That's important mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. But I want them to do it the right way.